Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, My Study. And in this video, I am going to discuss about what is exactly a good data and what is bad data, especially in the context of when you are doing the data analysis for the machine learning, deep learning, or any data science related task. So let's try to understand what are the underlying characteristic of some of the good data, which we call it as a good data, and when we call it as a bad data. So I have just listed in a tabular format some of the characteristic of good data. So one by one in a same context, we'll just try to understand what is good data and what is bad data. So in case of good data, we won't find any kinds of duplicate. Let's say if you have any duplicates available in your data, obviously it just doesn't make sense. But in a case of bad data, you will find such a kind of duplicate. Now duplicate data doesn't add any particular value while doing any kind of predictive analytics or if you are trying to extract some meaningful information out of your data. All right, so let's see the next one like a not bias. Now when you are collecting data, let's say your data has a relationship uh, with some sort of geography or let's say some sort of gender. Now you're trying to let's say find out what is the average height of uh, any person in the United States. So it's, it is independent of male or a female. So let's say you are collecting the sample of 1 million for the male and just uh, maybe half a million for the female. That means your data got bias and good data doesn't contain those characteristics. So in case of good data, you will find that this is not bias, whereas bad data, that means bias because they are highly inclined towards gathering more data for the male candidates and lesser data for the female candidate. Let's say you are trying to do the same experiment uh, on a un in a United States, like trying to find the average height of any person in United States. Now you are more inclined towards, let's say some of the states like uh, Texas or maybe Florida or maybe this way, California. So you gather more data from this particular state compared to rest of the other state. That means also you are biased while gathering the data. So that is also one of the characteristic of good data. In case of good data, you are not a bias. Whereas in case of bad data, you are biased. Let's see the next one like a no missing data point. Now, what does here mean the missing data point? Missing means you have a records available for data, but some of the characteristic may be missing. So obviously all machine learning algorithms just cannot handle it. And as a data scientist, data analyst, before diving into machine learning algorithm or any kind of predictive analytics algorithm, you have to clean those data. You have to impute those data or you have to discard those data. So what to do with this data, like uh, imputation or discarding those data, those decisions as a data scientist or data analyst, you have to take. So one of the characteristic of good data is it just doesn't contain all those missing records. Whereas in case of bad data, you may find those missing data points. All right, next one will be a relevant to the prediction. So what does here the relevant means? Uh, let's say you are gathering some data. Now those data should be in a position to correctly predict something because our end objective will be gathering some kind of pattern out of your data or maybe doing some kind of predictive analytics on the top of those data. If your data feature is not relevant for the further prediction, obviously it just doesn't make sense. Now let's say I'll give you one example. Let's say we have some customer data available. Now there are a lot of features are available, but one of them will be a customer ID also. Now customer ID obviously essential. So while gathering this data, you always keep the customer ID. But while doing the prediction, obviously this customer ID just do not add any value because that is just the number customer ID do not predict. Let's say we are trying to predict whether customer will purchase my next product or not. So obviously customer ID doesn't make sense. But let's say if you have a data available of individual customer like uh, what is his monthly salary so based on monthly salary maybe it will give a better indi indication that he will buy my next product or not so that means the good data contains all relevant information to good to do any kind of prediction 
वेर एज इन केस ऑफ बैड डेटा देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ अननेसेसरी फीचर्स आर अवेलेबल फॉर प्रोडिक्शन पर्पज मे बी अननेसेसरी बट फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पर्पज इट शुड बी इम्पॉर्टेंट लेट सी द नेक्स्ट वन लाइक अ गुड डेटा सो गुड डेटा कंटेन्स मेनी डेटा पॉइंट्स नाउ वाई मेनी डेटा पॉइंट्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट नाव डे इज वी नो डेट डेटा इज लाइक अ ऑयल so if you have a more data obviously better model you can create it now not necessary that every time it will create a best or a better model but if you have a good amount of data obviously the more meaningful information or a pattern or machine learning or a deep learning algorithm can extract out of it so obviously more and more amount of data and samples are available that will be classified into a good data category whereas uh, in case of bad data we have a fewer data samples are available now this uh, many data point has uh, a relation with uh, i'll give you one example let's say you are gathering data for the male and a female so earlier also i gave uh, one example in case of let's say male category will just uh, gather data for 1 million male and for female let's say half of the million so that is also classified somewhat like a imbalanced data set now we have gathered you can say many data points but uh, that is also as you can consider like a bad data point example because that is like a imbalanced data set we have not given enough justice to the female candidate now instead of that let's say uh, i'll just take 0.1 million 1 lakhs uh, data point for the male and a 1 lakhs data point for the female that will be considered even a better candidate for the data based category let's see the next one like a better representation now good data that means you can better represent you can create a better model out of your data obviously because that is not giving you just enough strength to do further prediction but uh, that will even give you an idea that how good your model is now in case of good data each feature has its unique name that means there is no ambiguity it has just the one single name because as a data scientist you should have a those kind of i would say domain knowledge also now while analyzing those data it is not always mathematics but it's all about the domain knowledge or the interpretation of individual column features and if those features are like ambiguous it just doesn't make sense that how you are going to treat that particular feature whereas in case of bad data this feature name itself is ambiguous and you just cannot understand whether how would you classify individual feature so those ambiguity should not exist let's say the next one same data type in a single column so let's say you are dealing with uh, some data where all those uh, data points are like a uh, integer and somewhat in some data point you will immediately find for same column some of the data points like a date type data type or some of the data points you call it like a string kind of data type so those kind of multidisciplinary data type should not exist in a single column because in that case how would you treat that particular data whereas uh, in case of bad data different data types are available in a single column so that will become very much ambiguous all right so that is some of the information i want to to give you that how you can call some data as a good data representation and some data as a bad data representation all right so that is all about the in the context of machine learning and a deep learning before throwing all your data to the machine learning related predictive analytics algorithm what exactly this data scientists and data analyst people they will classify those data into bad data category or a good data category so i hope you enjoy listening this video and see you into next video with some more cool stuff related to python data science and machine learning so till that time if you don't get anything please write it into comment please like this video and share my channel and subscribe my channel